But I picked corporate travel management as the stock of the day. Why? Well, shares are up by 12% as we record this. At one point, it was high as 16%. Um, it is off the back of an accommodation and travel services contract from the UK Home Office. They're calling it a material transaction. The value is $3 billion. So contract works include services and logistics support and corporate travel management also adding that the contract will have significant impact on further growth within the company's European operations in FY24 and beyond. Now, of course, corporate travel management has been, Michael, a reopening story to mm. a certain degree. I mean, it hasn't performed to the extent that some other of the travel firms have. Um, do you like corporate travel management? Is this making it yep. more attractive? If so. It does now make it interesting. I mean, before today's announcement, um, you know, there were pros and cons about the business. I mean, coincidentally, we'd, we'd had a quick analysis up on the Fairmont Equities website this morning before the announcement. So, I mean, key points, you know, disappointing in that the North American business hasn't, um, um, hasn't done as well as, as, as everyone had hoped or expected. Um, just not really seeing that pick up. Um, share, the shares before today's announcement were trading at the lower end of their um, sort of historical range. So you can make a case for, well, they're not that expensive. Mm -hmm. um, there could be some catalysts coming up to get the share price going with you know, China reopening and, and so on. Um, obviously, today's announcement um, is, is a great one. Um, you know, as a technical trader, we're looking at $19 as a, a key level it needed to get above to confirm that the downtrend is over and it's clearly done that well and truly today. So, I mean, at first glance, I'd say this is you know, good news. Obviously, the North American business, we'd like to see that one improve, but, you know, this is a big, big increase to earnings. And um, I think potentially this is a, an opportunity to get a bit more upside in the share price. Okay. So you would call that a buy? Yep. There you go. What a way to start a show, Michael. <laughs> uh, what about you, Grady? Because again, you know, travel thematic. Clearly, though, its overseas expansion is getting a boost from this material contract. Yes, they are focused on the European and UK expansion. And as Michael said, the North American business has underperformed the rest of the business. Um, I go with a hold just with consensus in line with a lot of expectation and cities gone with a hold. Um, just because the company overstaffed during the pandemic in preparation for um, the travel rebound in the US, which obviously naturally failed the business as we've seen the North American operations coming or underperforming. So I think at the moment, um, and also we know travel demand peaked to its highest level ever recently, and all of the other companies like Qantas, all of the airlines, they outperformed the market and this one failed to do so. So for us, it's a hold rating just because we want to see what this acquisition, I mean, what this um, new deal means and see it kind of play out over the next year. Okay, so you would be patient, patient. on this one. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was the stock of the day, corporate travel management. Let's get to 